All right, guys, if you want to learn how to produce protein and food and vegetables and meat and eggs and all these delicious things that are obviously necessary to our lives, keep watching. This is going to be a fun video. And subscribe to the channel because that's what we're all that's what I'm all about here. It's producing food that's good, delicious, nourishing for me and my family. So if you want to do that, this channel, subscribe and uh, watch how to tame some ducks. Day hey, folks, today I'm going to teach you how to train your feral Muscovy ducks. I think this is a great way to acquire Muscovy ducks. If you have some feral ones around, um, pretty easy to snatch and grab. So today we're going to talk about how to take them from a feral bird to a domestic bird that's not afraid of you anymore. Alright, so we're right up against the, the cage here. These ducks have no problem with me. The first step is your presence. You want to get them used to seeing you. So what I would do is I would simply feed them. I wouldn't get too close to them. I wouldn't mess with them very much. But I would just work in the yard, not really worry about it. So they would see me moving around, doing my thing. Um, I think also my son helped a lot with this because you know he just has a more innocent spirit and I think the ducks will pick up on that. So just him coming over and and saying hi to them and, and interacting with them as a person that's you know only 35 pounds and doesn't doesn't really talk in full sentences yet so your presence is important and just letting them see you around so for a couple weeks I didn't try to hold them try, didn't try to mess with them uh, I simply fed them gave them water and just let them see that I was here I was a common and normal thing for them to see in their new life in my backyard. Alright, so the second step after I got them used to seeing me was I wanted them to associate me with food. Now this wasn't very difficult to do because that's they were already seeing people as a food source because they lived at a pond, a public pond, and people fed them all the time. So even as duckling, small ducklings, these these ducks grew up knowing people mean food. If they show up and they start throwing something, it's probably food. And so I wanted, however, I went up and snatched them, grabbed them. And so there's probably some distrust there. And so I had to rebuild that trust and, and get them to see me as the one who gives them food. And so I would feed them every day, but what really impacted them was when I would give them treats. So we're going to give them a treat right now. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. All right, so this is one of their favorite treats. This is a brown and all. It's a non-native invasive lizard that can compete with our native lizards. Um, I've been feeding my ducks lizards, and they love it. So let's feed this one a lizard. And I'm at the point where, now where I can hand feed them. So sorry, lizard, but you're probably doomed because they don't show any mercy. <laughs> All right, okay. So they are already, this, this particular uh, duck here is, is wild about lizards. So, and it's trying to come through the cage here. All right, so I gotta like fake them out and then boom, there they go. And of course, a chase ensues. <laughs> Man, you don't realize, oh, down the gullet. <laughs> that is funny. They love lizards. So what I would often do is I would catch grubs, snails, slugs, lizards, any grasshoppers, any kind of insect or protein source is what they really loved. So I would catch those and I would just throw it through the wire and they would see that one of their favorite snacks come from me to them. And so as they realized, oh, this is the guy that gives really good snacks, they would start to greet me. So when I saw that happen is when I started to offer them food through the wire. And at first they were very hesitant, but then I would hold it there and then the, the lizard would wiggle and then their predator response would just kick in. And um, they would run across the cage, snatch it out of my hand, and then run back. And then of course they would chase each other because they're all jealous. Um, another thing I did is I would get this, <laughs> they'll, eat, they'll eat you, <laughs> I would get this little um, gray um, pot 
and I would put a bunch of grubs. I had some rotten logs I could get a bunch of grubs out of, and I put grubs, worms, in there, and then I would set that in the cage. And so when they saw me do that, boom, they were over there ready to feast, and they were paying more attention to the food than me, and so I was able to be really close to them while they were feeding because they like protein. I mean, that's what they're most hungry for. So after doing, taking these steps of just presence and then uh, utilizing their food drive to uh, get them used to me, um, they'll sit right next to me. They'll, they'll do their normal thing, feed. I, I just moved, on, moved them onto a new spot. So they're, um, they're plucking greens off the ground um, and soaking them in water. <laughs> so they're completely used to me. I can, you know, I can reach out and they'll bite my finger if I let them. All right, let's focus. <laughs> and so um, they, are, they are eager to come to me as their food source, as the one who's keeping them and taking care of them. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And these ducks have been absolutely amazing ducks. I, they really have blown away all my expectations. Um, they forage greens a lot. I move them onto a new patch and they're busy for, you know, 15, 20 minutes just getting all the good stuff. And then in the evening, um, spiders will start to move and they will eat spiders. I mean, the spiders come out in the evening and they just snatch them all up. It's, uh, it's not really even a second thought for them. So they, they utilize the resources available very, very well. And um, they just have a really awesome instinct for, for getting food. See that one back there still finding delicious greens to graze. And so they're, they're utilizing the ground really well, which is what I want. And they're doing it a lot better than, than chicken woods. Chickens kind of, they kind of just, uh, they'll eat a few greens here and there, but um, it's not nearly as much as these ducks eat. So I'm really glad that I can turn vegetables into protein. Because, um, well, and lizards and grubs and worms and <laughs> all kinds of things into protein, which is really, really incredible. And so the, the genetics on these ducks it has been fascinating to watch as they express themselves and be the greatest ducks they can be. So to conclude here, um, the ducks are doing well. Um, they're very quick to adapt. And you got to realize these ducks have been in, in a domesticated, semi-wild, but mostly domesticated state for, a long, for thousands of years. And... Um, so, so this is very much ingrained in their DNA to get used to a person and, and to accept my ownership of them and my caretaking of them. And so they have tamed down very quickly. They're awesome birds. I just highly recommend them. And I don't know why everyone doesn't go out and catch a few because this city, Jacksonville, Orange Park area, is overrun with Muscovy ducks. There's ducks at every pond. Um, and it's pretty common to find mothers with, with ducklings. And so if you go to any place with a pond, you will, or even ditches, big ditches will have ducks, Muscovy ducks. So these are not a native bird. They're not protected at all. And as far as I can tell, they're, they're just afraid of whoever wants them. I mean, the, they came from a owned flock at some point their ancestors did, even if you go back to the the native Central and South Americans. So, um, if you want some backyard protein and a really fun animal, a very interesting and curious animal, um, these guys fit the bill. And these are just ducklings. I haven't even gotten meat or eggs off them yet. So I'm excited to see how well they lay, if I get males or females, how heavy they get, how quickly. But so far, they are growing crazy crazy quick so uh, if you are interested in growing protein in your backyard um, this is the channel for you and I'm trying to do experiments find what really works rather than just what's on the internet which I realize this is on the internet so at some to some extent I'm giving you a baseline of where to start and then you can do your own experiments do what fits in in your context but I'm uh, doing what fits in my context best I know how so 
Anyway, y'all have a great day and go get some ducks. Trust me on this one.